Okay guys, now that you know how to move the machine around, let's enter some simple code and get a program on the screen. If you don't have a program in your machine, the top half of your monitor is going to be black. If you hit the space bar or the manual key, about the only thing that changes is the bottom quarter of your screen. Hit the letter P on your keypad and it'll ask you what you want to do. Switch, display, start new, copy. These are all your program options. P for program. Let's say I want to start a new program, so I'm going to hit number three on the keypad. When it says enter O word for this program, that's a capital O and not a zero. I know that the program number for this demonstration is going to be 635, so I'm going to type that in. 635, I'm going to hit enter. If there's any notes that you want to make associated with this program, now is the time to type it in. So I'll just type in YouTube demo. And hit enter. Now it moves all the information that you just entered as N1, which is line one, program 635, YouTube demo. And now you can start adding things into the program. This is going to be a relatively simple square program that we're going to write but the first thing I'm going to do is call up a tool. So I'm going to go for the F key, which is a function key on this particular controller. Hit the F key on the keyboard. A tool call is when you go and you get a tool. So let's hit number eight. And then number one. I'm going to select tool number 21 because it's a pointer that I loaded for this demonstration. And I'm going to call it that. Spindle RPM is zero. Spindle direction, five. Very conversational here, you just walk right through it. The fixture offset, as you write programs more and more, you will get very comfortable with all of your selections and probably have your offsets and program numbers predetermined before you ever get here, but we're gonna use fixture offset 10 for no particular reason. I'm gonna say wrap it to zero, Y zero, going to leave the coolant blank and I'm going to leave the cutter compensation off. We'll get to that later. Now if you like all of your values you can hit I like insert right now and it'll put it in the program. If you want to change anything keep hitting the enter and you can see that the cursor jumps around from line to line to line. When you get to that particular line if there's something you don't like you can backspace over it and wipe it out or re-enter. Let's hit the eye and see what happens. Okay, now we have the 635 YouTube demo from the initial start a new program. And here's your tool call. It enters all the parameters that you're gonna to need to make sure that the cutter's on, off, coolant on, coolant off, whether it's in the uh, home position, what tool, speeds. Right from your tool call block, everything is right there. Now notice it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As you edit a program, you're not going to have too much room in between these numbers. So I like to have my N incremental line numbers in increments of 5. When you do that, all you need to do is hit the N on your keyboard. It will ask you, what is the increment? I'm going to say 5 and hit enter. When you do it, renames them 5, 10, 15, 20. You can see what happened. You could have 10, you could have whatever you want. I like five, it leaves room for edits. Let's go and get tool number 21. I'm gonna hit manual, and I'm gonna hit it again. Right now it says ready for manual data input. I'm gonna say M6, like Michael 6, T for tool, 21, and I'm gonna hit the enter key. Blue light, now we hit the start. Make sure the coolant lines are clear of the spindle. Make sure your hands are out of the way and we're ready to rock. Okay, that's tool 21. That is a pointer. It also acknowledges right now that the M6T21 was the last entry made. And we're going to jog that table over and we're going to zero out this tool and effectively establish the work location. So I'm going to hit the jog. 
going to grab my X button and slide the table over. I'm going to grab my Z button and bring the spindle down. Once you're happy with the fact that you have your tool located where you want it, if you're doing it by eye, then you know when you're there. If you're doing it with an edge finder, you know when you're there. For now, we're just going to eyeball this tool into that X, Y position. And we're going to say, I like the height of it, so we're going to leave this tool right here from the jog mode, and we're going to get back to the console. Now, when you hit manual, the machine is not going to move. So let's hit manual. Hit it again. Enter next command. Go for your space bar. In your quick keys, watch how that bottom one scrolls. We did this once before. Edit and functions, right? Go back to your quick keys and select number five. When you hit number five, it's going to say set length of tool 21. Tool 21 is the tool in the program and it is the tool in the holder. So when you hit yes, that's the Y, that line will go away and the controller has just now absorbed the height of that tool, not the location, only the height. Now in order to set the location of that tool, you're going to have to hit number four for set fixture. So we're going to hit number four, then you're going to select number one, and that's only because you're selecting menu item number one, not offset number one. This is where you enter the offset that you want to identify. So enter fixture offset number. We said 10. We're going to hit 10 and we're going to hit enter. We're not going to worry about a locator diameter. Hit enter again. If you've done this correctly, the machine is now sitting on fixture offset 10 and these numbers at the top of the screen are the location of the table, but this is the location of the fixture offset. Now there's going to be some confusion here, but just wait and see what happens. If the fixture offset 10 was previously defined and you have these values in the machine, now would be the time to say, no, I want fixture offset 10 to be right there, not what's in the computer. So you select number three for store the location. Once you hit number three, it says, which axis do you want to save? Select your X and your Y. And then when you go back up to fixture offset 10, this is where the machine is. This is the offset that you've selected. This is the offset now that it acknowledges. The 10.080 is 10.080. Minus 1.160 is that. And we just set the height in the previous op. So fixture offset 10 is now defined. In order to get out of this, you have to hit manual and then hit manual again. Now if we go to the offset register, which is number six, when you go to tool number 10, or excuse me, fixture offset number 10, which would be the space bar. So you hit the space bar and go for 10. There is your values that were just on the screen, 10.080 and minus 1.160. If there is any doubt in your mind whether or not you set the length of that tool, go back and set it again. Hit number five and hit yes. You can do that 15 times if you want to. It's not going to hurt to be sure. One of the things that you're going to ultimately have to do is be able to track your tools, track your program numbers, track your part numbers. So you're going to make something up in Excel or buy something online. But let me show you what I use and you can copy it if you want. If you like it, I'll put a PDF on my website. You can go get one. This is my program summary sheet. It gives me my eat, work offset, program number, the tools. And once I've set the height on the tool, I put a check mark in this box. And however many tools I use and however many times I use that tool, I continue to check it off because inevitably someone will interrupt you or the phone will ring or you'll have to walk away or something. But when you've set the height of your tool, 
and you've set your values in your offset register, you can throw a check mark in there and know that you are good to go in that program on that tool. Now let's go to the offset register and tell the offset register that tool number 21 is a zero diameter. So we're going to hit number six for offsets. We're going to look for tool number 21. Now if there's no value under the diameter at tool 21, then the register already acknowledges that it is a zero diameter. Let's send this machine home. Anybody remember how to do that? Anybody? Go for manual. Hit it a couple times until you get enter next command. Now hit the HO and enter. What's going to happen? Blue light on top of the machine is going to blink. Hit the start button. Away we go. Now one of the things that gave me fits, and I'm sure there are some of you out there that has uh, been encountered this as well, is I want to go back to that E10 for setup purposes, for visual, for God knows what reason, but I want to get back there. Let me show you how to get back there. Go back to the screen where you identified the, the fixture offset. Set fixture, number four. If you want to work with offset number 10, you have to identify it as offset number 10. So the, the number one option will allow you to enter the offset you want to work with. So we're going to hit one. When this screen comes up, hit 10. Enter. You're not going to mess with any locator diameters. Hit enter again. Okay, now the machine acknowledges that you are dealing with fixture offset number 10. At this point, you will enter number 8. Move to the fixture offset. When you select number eight, the machine is going to acknowledge a shift with the blue flink, flash, blinking light when you hit the start. The table location is now back to the E1000. You can verify this by jogging the spindle down to the tool getting it right back where it's supposed to be so you know you're back at the E10 location. I hope that some of you benefited by that. Now before we actually enter code, I'm going to hit the manual button to get out of the jog. Hit the B on your key panel to take your cursor all the way to the bottom of your program. See how it jumped from 35 to 5? I'm going to hit the T for top or the B for bottom. We're right at the very bottom. Before I enter code, I'm going to end the program. So I'm going to hit P again for program. Oh, no, I'm not. Excuse me. This is an error. I'm going to hit manual to get out of here because I don't want to be there. I'm going to hit functions. And then I'm going to go for 8, which has the end of program code in it. 8 and then 2. And there you go. So we've started the program, we've called up a tool, we've zeroed the tool, we've identified the fixture offset, and we've entered an ending program code in there. Which you can see it's 35, 36, 37, 38. I want to get back to my five count. We're going to hit N for number five and enter. All right, there you go. You've successfully called up a tool, you've set the height of the tool, you've set the diameter of the tool in the offset register, you've manually jogged the table to the E10 position, and you've established the E10 position in memory in the offset register. We'll take a breath. When we come back, we're going to enter some G-code in there and see if we can make this machine move.